Today we are at WPI for the Girls Central Division II Sectional Championship where the third seeded Medway Mustangs take on the fourth seeded Hopkinton Hillers. Tom Nappy here on the broadcast. Craig D'Alessandro back in our New England FatLoss.com studios and you are tuned in to the pregame show. It's high school basketball on MyFM 101.3 and we are streaming the MyFM Media Center and the MyFM 101.3 live app powered by PINS. Our game this evening features two TVL rivals that leave it all on the line tonight for a chance to advance to the Final Four in Division II. Both teams had tough roads to get to this point. Hopkinton finished the regular season 16-4 and, and took down 13-seeded Holliston, 5th-seeded Medfield, and upset 1st-seeded Rotten Dunstable to get to this point. Medway took down 14-seeded Doherty, 11-seeded North Middlesex, and 7th-seeded Neshoba. This will be the third time this season that Hopkinton and Medway meet up. The Hillers grab wins in both the other games. Back on December 19th, Hopkinton took the game at home 47 to 42, and then they met up with Medway in the Westboro Invitational Tournament, and Hopkinton took the title game over the Mustangs 42 to 26. Of course, the title at stake tonight is the ultimate prize. The Hiller girls have been white hot, riding a seven game winning streak into the postseason. And that winning streak now at 10 with the three playoff wins. Medway also ended the season on a high note, winning 12 of their last 14. Let's go down to courtside right now for the starting lineups. Girls, Division II District Finals. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. And now your starting lineups for number four seed, Hopkington. A senior number four, Ivy Gogolin. A senior number 11, Callie Corbet. A senior number 12, Kate Buechner. A senior number 15, Chris Brawl. And a senior number 32, Reagan Cavey. Hockington is coached by Mike Greco. And now your starting lineups for number three seed, Medway. A sophomore number three, Julia Dowling. A senior number four, Megan Downing. A senior number 10, Riley Childs. A junior number 14, Sam Curry. And a ninth grader, number 21, Lauren Reach. Medway is coached by Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, will you please rise for the playing of our national anthem.
Welcome back to Worcester Polytechnic Institute as we are ready for this Girls Central Division II sectional championship between the Medway Mustangs and the Hopkinton Hillers. The Medway Mustangs, the home team today, and their at-home white jerseys, navy blue numbering and lettering, the Hopkinton Hillers, the road team, and their road green jerseys with orange numbering and white lettering. As we are ready for the opening tip-off, it'll be Ivy Goglin in the center circle for the Hopkinton Hillers. In the semifinals, Hopkinton took down first seeded Groton Dunstable in a low scoring physical defensive matchup. Ivy Goglin recorded a team high 11 points and 12 rebounds, while Regan Caveney was clutch from outside the perimeter, knocking down nine points. And she also added eight rebounds and three assists. The Hillers continuing to be white hot in the postseason. We'll have much more on the semifinals matchup throughout this broadcast as we are underway here from WPI. Tom Nappy on the call here from Worcester Polytechnic Institute as the Hopkinton Hillers control off the opening tip, working right to left across your radio. Top of the perimeter, Callie Corby trying to feed the wing and then a pass to Caveney ends up out of bounds along the near sideline. It was knocked out off a defender. It will be a Hillers inbound. Medway, they had a tough semifinals matchup as well. They went back and forth with seventh seeded Neshoba and pulled off a 46 to 45 win. Caveney for three from the left wing, no good. That'll rattle out. Goglin with the rebound, and then she loses it. Loose ball on the ground, picked up by Medway, is coming away with it. Is Samantha Murray, and here comes the Mustangs up court. Medway working left to right across your radio. Riley Childs on the center circle, pass over to the right side of the perimeter to Beach. Now it's back up top over to Murray. Murray feeds the left wing to Childs. Now back up top to Murray. Medway trying to shake up the interior. The Hillers so good in the low post that has been one of the keys to their success. Dowling pass over to the left wing and out of the short corner. Up at the shot clock buzzer is Riley Childs. And it did go through, but she did not get the shot off in time, I believe. So it's going to remain a scoreless game. 7.05 and ticking left to go in the first quarter as the Hillers work into the offensive zone. Pass over to Corby, top of the perimeter. She's being watched by Julia Dowling. And now over to the wing to Hubner. Back to the corner to Caveney. Caveney to Corby. And Corby trying to work her way into the interior. Some contact there with Riley Childs. And that is going to be the first foul of the game by either team. That one going against Medway. The Hillers will inbound from the near sideline. Kate Hubner on the entry. Hubner to Goglin along the left wing. Now it's back to Hubner. Hubner pass up top to Corby. Nearly stolen away, but Corby is able to maintain possession. Pass over to the right side now. Now back up to the wing and driving in and launching the shot and hitting Callie Corby. So the Hillers get on the board, and here comes Medway into the offensive zone. Pass over to the right wing, driving in is Lauren Beach, and some contact there as she works her way to the hoop. And she will head to the line for a couple. A foul on Caveney. First of two for Beach is no good. Medway went back and forth with seven seeded Neshoba and squeaked out the 46 to 45 win in the semifinals. Medway trailed by as much as 12 in the fourth quarter. Came all the way back as Beach hits the second free throw. Riley Childs struggled from the field going four for 15. She still put up 10 points, but Lizzie White was the hero for Medway, putting up 18 points all via three-pointers. She had six three-pointers. Three in each half as a pass to the top of the perimeter. Stolen away. The Mustangs driving down. An easy bucket for Riley Childs. Coast to coast she goes. Wide open court in front of her off the glass and in. We are tied at two. The Hiller is working in the offensive zone. Pass over to the left corner and it is going to be ruled out of bounds on Hopkinton. Unable to stay in was Prawl. Mustangs will have the entry. Meg Downing on the inbound. Hiller's on the full court press, trying to drop those turnovers. Very aggressive defensive style under Coach Greco as Riley Childs works up the floor. And now it's McDowning, the captain. Pass up the near side over to Lauren Beach. Beach feeds Dowling. Dowling driving into the left short corner. Pass over to Childs. Childs up for three. And that'll fall off the rim. Caveney there for the rebound as it goes off the front rim. And here comes the Hillers. Callie Corby with possession. 
Pass over to Prawl. Prawl lost it along the near side, and then she gets tangled up a little bit with Lizzie White. And we have a whistle here. And it's going to be Medway possession off the jump ball. On the entry, Riley Childs. Dowling will take it up for the Mustangs. What a long way this Medway team has come. They started off the season a little bit rough in a winning trend, but they struggled with good opponents, but they just continued to get better as the year went on as Murray drives the lane off the glass and in. Samantha Murray with the second field goal of the game for the Mustangs, and it's a 5-2 Medway lead. As the Hillers work it up the near side. Last year, Hopkinton was in this very sectional final at WPI where they lost to Medfield, so they're hoping they'll have some better luck here at WPI today. Driving in from the wing, Hubner up for the shot, knocked out of bounds off of Mustang. That went off of Downing. The Hillers will have the entry from the offensive baseline. On the inbound, right to Goglin in the low post, up for the shot, she's blocked, but able to get the rebound. Then on the secondary attempt, knocked out of bounds, looked like it went off of Downing, so the Hillers will have another inbound. Ivy Goglin, of course, the player to watch for the Hillers. And that has been a strategy of the Hillers' opponents in these playoffs. Medfield and Groton Dunst will try to shut down Goglin. Of course, a lot easier said than done. As Goglin tries to kick it out outside the perimeter and stolen away by Dowling. And the Mustangs have the turnover. Up the far side, Meg Downing. Downing cuts across towards the top of the perimeter. Driving in, pass over to the wing to Murray. And now back to the left wing to Beach, driving in, up the short corner, up for the shot, no good. Goglin pulls down the rebound, and here comes the Hillers. Cade Hubner with possession, taking it up midcourt. Pass over to Corby, got away from her, and out of bounds. Mustangs basketball. A little bit of an errant pass there. And Medway will have the entry. It'll be Riley Childs from along the far side. On the inbound, Medway works up court left to right as McDowning takes it up. Downing top of the perimeter, pass over to the wing now to Murray. Murray thought about the three and then tried to drive in past Golan, couldn't get it by her, so fed Childs on the corner. Childs a great feed along the baseline of Beach, but Beach can't finish. Some good defensive work by Ivy Goglin in the low post, and the Hillers have it back. Callie Corby takes it up court. Over to the left corner, she goes over to Prawl, driving along the baseline, and as she does, some contact. And this is going to be another Medway foul. It'll be a Hillers inbound from the offensive baseline. The Mustangs going to sub three in. Liz White, McDowning, and Nikki Sheehan all in the game. Ivy Goglin on the entry for Hopkinton. Over to the left wing to Corby. Now it's to the corner to Caveney for three. Yes! Regan Caveney, a dangerous shooter from outside the perimeter, puts the Hillers up six to five with the three. Or excuse me, five to five rather. Tie game. Pass over to the right short corner. And now taking it out to the wing, launching a three. Good response by Riley Childs. Riley Childs hits her second field goal, an 8-5 Medway lead. Working up the near side, Callie Corby, top of the perimeter. Driving in, now on the left short corner, gives it off to Goglin. Goglin up the lane, and as she works her way to the buckets, we have a foul. Put Goglin at the line, foul called on Rachel Costello. It's her first, Medway's third. Ivy Goglin on the entry. Over to the right corner. And now it's up the far side to Corby. Top of the perimeter to Hubner. Now Goglin in the low post, off the glass and in. And it's important to mention the Hiller is likely going to be without Lily Morningstar for the remainder of the postseason. And she's actually... There with her team with crutches next to her. She got hurt in that Groton Dunstable game, so she is inactive tonight. As Sam Murray tries to shoot, and we get a violation against the Mustangs. The Hillers will have it. Entry from the far side. Moving violation there. Olivia Glado on the entry. Inbound to Hubner. 
Hubner will take it across the middle. Mustangs with a bit of a press. Pass over to Corby along the near side. Hiller is working right to left across your radio. Hubner, top of the perimeter. Pump fakes trying to feed Goglin. Good steal by Childs. And Childs, as she's coming up the far side, draws contact. And that foul going to be called on Olivia Gladue. That is her first. Here comes the Mustangs. Up the far side, Rachel Costello passes the top of the perimeter to Sam Murray. Murray looks in on the interior over the left wing to Nikki Sheehan. Sheehan drives in up for the shot, and it is no good, but she traveled anyway. Hiller's basketball. One step too many there. Olivia Gladue on the entry. The sophomore going to get a lot of playing time for the remainder of the postseason with Lily Morningstar inactive. And on the inbound, she took too long. So the Mustangs will have the turnover. Lizzie White on the entry. Lizzie White, the hero for Medway in that Neshoba game. Look out for her from beyond the perimeter. Pass over to the right wing to Murray. Murray feeding Nikki Sheehan driving in. Now a kick back out to White for three. No good off the back iron. Rebound Costello along the far side. Costello, top of the perimeter. Feeds the left wing to Sheehan. Now over to the short corner on the left side. Up and in, Samantha Murray. That's her second field goal for the Mustangs. A 10-7 lead for Medway. Now the Mustangs steal it back off the inbound. Costello over to the right wing to Childs. Up for the shot, no good. Goglin there to pull it down, and the Hillers have it back. Crisis averted as Corby down the near side over to Hubner, driving up the paint, and as she works her way to the bucket, we have a foul. That one is going to be on Liz White. That's her first. Hopkinton on the inbound from the offensive baseline. Kate Hubner on the entry over to Goglin. In the low post, Goglin lost it, and it's stolen away by Costello. She was surrounded by three Mustangs on that inbound and couldn't hold on to it. Costello works her way up court, pass over to the right wing to White, and as White thought about driving in, some contact. Oh, that one is going to be called on Kate Hubner. And here comes the Hillers on defense once again. Lauren Beach on the short corner. Pass up top over to Downing. And now it's back to the corner to Sheehan. And now over to the left side of the perimeter up for three. White air ball, but it is collected by Sheehan to keep it in Medway possession. Top of the perimeter, Murray takes a step in. Deep two, got it. Samantha Murray feeling it. That's her third field goal of the quarter. 12-7 Medway lead as the Hillers work up the far side. With possession, that is Callie Corby. Over to the right wing to Sensini, who just recently hopped into the game. Now it's back to Corby. Corby to Sensini. Sensini for three. No good off the iron. Rebound Goglin. Goglin takes it out over to Caveney. Caveney feeding Sensini along the right side. We get a whistle. That's going to be a Medway foul. That one on Lauren Beach. That is the fifth foul for Medway. They're certainly going to have to watch that number with an entire second quarter to play. You don't want to get in early foul trouble against this Hillers team who is very good from the free throw line. Callie Corby on the entry. Over to the right side of the perimeter and driving along the baseline was Gladeau and we get a whistle. Another Medway foul. And that one is going to be on Costello. Well, the Mustangs are playing aggressive, trying to prevent the Hillers from establishing momentum in the low post, but you can't do that just by pushing and fouling, or you're going to get in a very big foul trouble. An attempt to get it into the interior, stolen away. Good hands by Nikki Sheehan. A great feed over to Riley Childs, who takes her to the rack off the glass and in. 14-7 Medway. Good way to start if you're the Mustangs. Gladeau for three from the right corner at the buzzer, and she hits. Just what the Hillers needed to end that quarter. Nothing really went their way 
but they get the three right at the end, and after one quarter of play, it's Medway 14, the Hillers 10. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to please stand so we may thank you for your service to our country. Welcome back to Worcester Polytechnic Institute. We are ready for the second quarter between the Hopkinton Lady Hillers and the Medway Lady Mustangs. It is the Central Division II sectional finals on my FM 101.3. The Hillers will inbound to start off the second quarter, trailing 14 to 10, working right to left across your radio. The entry is to Callie Corby. Corby with a right hand dribble. She's being watched by Costello. Pass over to the right wing to Prawl. Now around the perimeter they go. Back to Prawl along the wing. Now over to the left wing to Hubner on the skip pass. An attempt to get it to Goglin, and she was surrounded by defenders once again. The ball knocked loose by Downing, and then we have a jump ball call. It'll go Medway's way. Well, if you're the Hillers, I know you want to get the ball to Goglin, but she has to get open. And you have to strategize, set some picks so she can get open in that low post. That's already three turnovers for the Hillers trying to get the ball to Goglin. McDowning on the entry for the Mustangs. Inbound to Riley Childs. Childs takes it up the middle. And a pass over to the near side. We get a whistle. And the official going to go over the scores table. I think it's a clock issue. You want to put a couple seconds or maybe take a few seconds off the shot clock. Looks like that's what they are doing. And a little bit of confusion out there for the officials. We'll get that all straightened out. But so far, this has been a pretty good back and forth game. The Hiller is hitting a well needed three right at the first quarter buzzer, courtesy of Olivia Gladue to get within four. But the Mustangs working with the lead. Riley Childs with possession, pass over to the right wing, an errant pass in the direction of Lauren Beach. Hiller's basketball. Out of bounds it goes. Hopkinton will inbound from the near side. Kate Hubner on the entry over to Callie Corby. Corby will take it up with a right hand dribble uncontested. Top of the perimeter bounce pass back to Hubner. Now they'll work around the top of the perimeter. An attempt to get it back to Cave and he stole it away. Quick break Medway. Here comes Downing off the glass and it falls off the rim. And the Hillers get it back. They are lucky. They didn't give up a bucket there. Downing had a wide open layup. Callie Corby takes it down, pass over to Hubner now, it's on the right corner to Prawl, and Prawl was looking towards the wing, and in the meantime, we get a Medway foul. Medway ball on number 14, Sam Murray. That's gonna be on Sam Murray, and this is gonna send the Hillers to the line, Hopkinton in the bonus. A one and one for Ivy Goglin with 7.02 left in the second quarter. If you're the Hillers, you have to take advantage of Medway being in this foul trouble this early on in the second quarter. Goglin on the front end of a one and one, no good. And here comes Medway. Working up court for the Mustangs is Riley Childs as she comes across the middle, pass over the right wing to Beach. Beach pump fakes, feeds Samantha Murray top of the perimeter, now it's back to Childs, driving in from the left wing around a defender, up and in, but the shot won't count, the foul will however. It's going to be a Hopkinton foul. That one is on Hubner. That is her second foul of the game. Mustangs on the inbound. It's Rachel Costello looking 
into the paint, was trying to get it over to Beach, and Beach ended up falling to the ground. Another Hiller's foul. Well, maybe they got a med, well, the PA announcer said medway foul, but that is not the right call. The Mustangs have the inbound. He's on the Hillers, so the Mustangs working in the offensive zone as Downing drives in over to the wing to Murray. And now it's stolen away. Quick break for the Hillers. Here comes Prawl. Prawl takes it to the rack, pump fakes, off the glass and in. Nicely done by Marissa Prawl. And now the Mustangs will work up court against the press. McDowning with possession. Downing takes it up. Working against Cladeau, and now passed over to the right wing to Samantha Murray. Murray into the interior to Costello. Costello feeds the short corner. And driving along was Nikki Sheehan trying to feed it back out to the wing, and she ended up getting tripped up and pushing the ball out of bounds. It'll be Hiller's basketball. Hopkinton will have the inbound from the baseline. On the defensive side, Kate Hubner on the entry, the official back at the scores table to straighten things out. Lauren Beach hit the clutch jumper for Medway to give the Mustangs the lead in the semifinals against Neshoba with 16 seconds left. What a game that Medway had against Neshoba. And of course, the Hillers with a big upset over Groton Dunstable to get to this point. And we have a TVL filled sectional final as Kate Hubner takes it up for the Hillers. Pass over to Callie Corby along the far side. Now back up to Prawl. Prawl to Caveney along the left wing. Caveney feeds it out to Corby. And now along the right wing to Prawl. Back to Corby. Corby takes a step in. Running out of time on the shot clock. Caveney for three. Got it! From the left corner. Regan Caveney buries it. The Mustangs have the inbound, but first head coach Joe Ionone going to call a timeout for the Mustangs. 5.41 left to go in the first half. It is a 15-14 Hillers lead. So far in this second quarter, the Medway Mustangs being shut out. Two minutes, 19 seconds into it, and the Hillers have outscored Medway five to nothing. Medway gonna have to pick it up offensively if they want a chance against this Hillers team. Hopkinton very dominant in the low post. Medway trying to keep them out of there by surrounding it with defenders, and they are forcing turnovers off of that strategy, but they're not really taking advantage of them. And we'll see if they can take advantage of this possession off the timeout. The Mustangs on the entry from the defensive baseline. Riley Childs on the inbound. Inbound to Rachel Costello coming up the far side for Medway. Now pass over to McDowning. Downing takes it across. Calls it out. Pass back to Costello along the near sideline. And now into the high post. Up for the jumper. No good off the back iron is Sam Murray. And then we have a foul on the rebound attempt. I believe this is going to be against the Hillers. And it will. It's going to be on Kate Hubner. That's her third. She's certainly going to have to be careful. Mustangs on the inbound. Inbound into the Riley Childs up for the shot. It's no good. Then Sam Murray fighting for the rebound. Out of bounds. It goes off of Murray. Pillars basketball. Riley Childs has had a Couple of big misses in this game so far. Very rare. Pass to Olivia Gladeau. Gladeau trying to work up the near side, and Meg Downing was contesting her. It ended up going off of Downing, back off of Gladeau, and out of bounds. Medway basketball. Meg Downing on the entry for Medway. Into the offensive zone. The pass to Riley Childs knocked out of bounds. And they call it out off of Childs. Hiller's basketball. 
Good defensive work by Hopkinton. They had two defenders around Childs. No way she was getting to that ball. Prawl on the entry over to Corby, and here comes the Hillers working right to left across your radio. Olivia Gladeau will pass back to Corby, who will take it across. Now it's Gladeau along the near side. Corby, top of the perimeter. Pass over to the right wing to Prawl. And now along the left wing, Gladeau. Gladeau trying to feed it into the low post. Riley Childs ready for it. She comes away with the steal, coast to coast. Into the paint, up and no good, but it doesn't matter. Called for the travel. She was looking for a foul, but she did take that extra step. And that forced the travel call. Hillers inbound. 4.53 left to go in the second quarter. It is a 15 to 14 Hopkinton lead. It's been much more of a defensive affair so far in this second quarter. Hillers outscoring Medway so far five to nothing. The Hillers will work up court uncontested. Callie Corby with possession. Pass over to the far side of Gladeau. Now it's back up to Corby around the defender. Back to Gladeau coming in from the wing. Over to the corner, Caveney pump fake, surrounded by defenders. Going to kick it back out to Gladeau. Gladeau back to Caveney on the right corner, trying to feed Goglin. It's knocked out of bounds, but we have a medway foul. Medway foul number 11. It'll be on Mary Kate Gold. That's her first. Hillers at the line on the bonus. Ivy Goglin for a one and one. Second time at the line. She missed the first one and one attempt. And the front end of this one is good. Three points so far for Ivy Goglin. On the back end of a one and one now. Try to give the Hillers a nice three point lead and she does. 17 to 14, Hillers on a 7-0 run in this second quarter. Julia Dowling trying to work up the far side, surrounded by Gladeau and Goglin. Out of bounds it goes off of a defender. Mustangs will have the inbound, this time from the far sideline. Hiller is going to stack the midway defensive zone and try to get a turnover here. Dowling on the entry to Childs. Up the far side she goes, over to the left corner to D'Antremo, who just hopped into the game, back to the wing, up for three, no good as Childs. Way wide to the left there, Caveney ended up with the rebound. Gladeau working up the near side for the Hillers. Gladeau pump fakes, feeds Caveney. Caveney lost it, and it's wrapped up. Jump ball called. It was Caveney up against Julia Dowling for that one, and it will go in Hillers' direction. Olivia Gladeau on the inbound. Officials discussing the possession, and it will remain Hiller's basketball. Gladeau on the inbound from the near side. Into Goglin. Back to Gladeau, now up top to Caveney. Now it's over to Corby. Corby trying to shake through the defenders. Back to Gladeau, now Corby driving in from up top. Now Gladeau along the left wing. Couple defenders on her as Medway switching to that 2-3 zone. Over to Corby. Corby now surrounded by a couple of defenders. Working the top of the perimeter is D'Entremont and Dowling. Some good speed. Over to Caveney on the left corner, up for three. No good off the rim it goes. Coming away with it is Gladeau to keep it in Hiller's possession. Up to Corby. Now to the right side of the perimeter to Prawl. Prawl back to Corby. And now to Gladeau coming in from the left wing. Now Corby up top. Hiller's got to get a shot off to the left of the paint. And a high jumper is no good. But she does draw the foul. That'll be on downing her first. And that'll put Callie Corby at the line for the Hillers. And the first of two is good. Three points for Callie Corby. Now an 18-14 lead for the Hillers. Eight nothing quarter in Hopkinton's favor. 3.27 left to go in the second quarter. It has been a long while since the Mustangs have scored anything. Second free throw, got it. 19 of 14 Hillers. Here comes Medway. We'll see if they can break this offensive cold streak. D'Entremont along the far side, contested. Ends up falling to the ground with Prawl. Out of bounds it goes, Hillers ball. Excuse me, an offensive foul, rather. 
They're going to get down Tremont with the contact. Hopkinton on the entry from the far side. Olivia Gladeau on the inbound. Hiller's working in the offensive zone. Gladeau to Goglin along the baseline, and she's not able to get to it. An Aaron pass a little too far in front of her. Nikki Sheehan picks it up from Medway. Now working up court is Meg Downing, the captain. Downing dribbles in from the top of the perimeter, up for the shot, no good, but she draws a foul. And that'll be on Olivia Gladeau, her second. McDowning at the line, 4-2. Trying to break this offensive cold streak for the Mustangs. They haven't scored a point since the first quarter. And the first free throw is no good. They remain scoreless in the second. Second free throw for Downing. No good. Hiller's rebound. Goglin there to collect. And Medway remains scoreless as we approach three minutes left in the first half. Caveney, top of the perimeter. Looks towards the right side and now feeds Gladeau along the left wing. Gladeau turns around. Feeds it back out to Caveney. Up for three. No good. It'll rattle out and then it's knocked out of bounds. Went off of a Mustang. Samantha Murray got the last touch. Goglin was trying to swipe it away and Murray got the... Hand in there just in time to keep it in Hiller's possession. Callie Corby on the inbound. It'd be pretty crazy to see Medway get shut out in this quarter, but they just have nothing going offensively. And we have another official's stoppage here. On the inbound, Callie Corby. 2.52 left to go in the first half. The inbound of the high post stolen away by Lauren Beach. A miscommunication there for the Hillers. Beach drives in from the right wing for Medway. Off the glass and in plus the foul. Just what Medway needed. Finally, they get some second quarter points after a 9-0 Hopkinton run to start the quarter. And Lauren Beach at the line. Trying to complete the... And one. The foul's called on Goglin. That's her second. And here comes the Hillers up the near side. Callie Corby with possession. She did indeed complete the and one. So three well-needed points for Medway. It's now a 19-17 game. And despite the Hillers starting off the quarter on a 9-0 run, Medway very much in it as Olivia Gladeau draws a foul. Up towards, no, it's going to be an offensive foul. They're going to put that one on Gladeau. I don't know, I'd have to see that one again. But the Mustangs will have it. They get the turnover. Riley Childs on the inbound. Up the near side is Nikki Sheehan. Sheehan cuts across the middle. Top of the perimeter. Trying to work the defender, Sensen, who just recently hopped into the game. Medway running out of time, and as she looks towards the low post, we get the whistle. A moving violation there. Too long in the key. Sensini on the inbound from the far side. Here comes the Hillers. Callie Corby up the near side. Hopkinton working right to left across your radio. Approaching two minutes left in this first half. Caveney trying to feed Goglin. Nearly stolen away, but Goglin just gets to it and swipes it over to Sensini. And then Sensini trying to pass it back to the low post. Knocked out of bounds. Hiller is on the inbound from the near sideline. Marissa Prawl on the entry. Prawl to Goglin along the left wing. Now top of the perimeter to Corby. Now it's back over to the left wing. Up for three and no good is Prawl. Caveney almost was able to grab the rebound, but Riley Childs cut her off. Childs along past the beach, and Beach got the hand on it, but could not haul it in. And it goes off her hand out of bounds. Hiller's basketball. Prawl on the inbound to Corby. Here comes Hopkinton as Prawl works up the far side now. Back to Corby. Corby being watched by Nikki Sheehan. Pretty good defender, quick hands and has ripped down a couple of steals that have been huge throughout this season. Since then he drives along the baseline, stops, pops, and drops from the left short corner, no good. And then the loose ball along the baseline, swiped out of bounds by Sensini trying to save it. It'll be a Mustangs inbound from the near side. Nikki Sheehan 
will have the entry. Pillars have three in Medway's defensive zone on the press, and now they'll back off two and play man. As McDowning takes it up the near side, pass over to Beach along the wing, and as Beach thought about driving in, we have a foul. And that'll be on Regan Caveney. That's her second. And the Mustangs at the line. Both teams in the double bonus. Lauren Beach for two. Lauren Beach, a freshman, going to be a key player for the Mustangs throughout her high school career as the first of two no good. Lauren Beach has been huge in these playoffs as well. She hit the clutch jumper from Medway in that Neshoba win with 16 seconds left, but misses both free throws here as it's knocked out of bounds along the baseline. It was off of a hiller. Medway on the inbound. In the offensive zone, Riley Childs from the far side inbounds to Sheehan. Nikki Sheehan top of the perimeter, miscommunication there as her and Lauren Beach, they had something drawn up, but Lauren Beach went in towards the low post and Sheehan thought she was gonna go out towards the corner and ended up throwing that one out of bounds. Hillers have it. Coming up mid-court is Corby. Pass over to the far side now, driving in, Prawl lost it, out of bounds along the baseline. Was off of a Mustang. It will be a Hopkinton inbound on the entry, Callie Corby. 52.8 seconds left to go in this second quarter. Corby, that is up to Sensony along the left wing. And now over to Goglin to the right of the paint. Up for the jumper, no good. And it's pulled down by Sheehan. Sheehan to Downing. Downing up to Beach along the right wing. Lauren Beach trying to get around. Caveney on defense. Turns around, gives it back over to Sheehan, and now over to the left elbow and a great feed of Childs up for the shot, and she's no good, but now a steal by Childs as Goglin tries to come out with it. Childs stops, pops, and drops from the high post. No good. Put back off the glass. Yes. Samantha Murray puts it back. And Medway finally coming to life offensively. As Callie Corby takes it across the middle. Pass over to the far side of Prawl, and Prawl gets tied up and called for the travel. Good defensive work there by Nikki Sheehan. Got right up in her grill and didn't let her go anywhere, and Prawl got a little tripped up and took that extra step. Medway on the inbound, 6.5 seconds left. We are tied at 19. Mustang's going to try for a buzzer beater. Top of the perimeter to Childs, now over to the right wing. Beach at the buzzer, no good. Just wide to the left. And that will do it for a very defensive first half. Not a lot of points in that second quarter at all. Only nine for the Hillers and just five for Medway. And as we head to the halftime locker room, the game remains tied at 19, but a whole nother half to go. We're gonna take a timeout. Stay tuned, we'll get you caught up with the latest local high school basketball action. You are tuned in to the girls Central Division II sectional final. Hopkinton and Medway tied at 19 at the half. My name is Claire. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, Hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal and we love HM. Hey, I love to be. Uh, camp. We love, love H -Camp. H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We, we love, love H Camp, H -Camp TV. TV. Woo! Welcome back to Worcester Polytechnic Institute as we are just about ready for the second half between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medway Mustangs. A 19-19 ball game as we head into the third quarter. Medway with 14 points in the first quarter, only five in the second. The Hillers started off the second quarter on a 9-0 run. Hopkinton put up 10 in the first, 9 in the second. Let's take a look at player-by-player -player scoring totals. We'll start off with Medway. Riley Childs with 7, Sam Murray with 8, Lauren Beach with 4. For Hopkinton, it's Olivia Gladeau with 3, Marissa Prawl with 2, Regan Caveney with 6, Ivy Golan with 4, and Callie Corby with 4. As we are ready to start the third quarter, let's see if the offense can pick up for both teams, certainly a slow-moving 
second quarter with a lot of turnovers, but some great defensive work by both teams. As Medway starts off with possession, working right to left across your radio. Riley Childs feeds Sam Murray on the wing. Now it's up top to Lauren Beach. Beach over to Childs. Now they'll work around the top of the perimeter. Beach into Childs to the right of the paint. Fires across over to Murray up for the jumper. That's no good. Loose ball is collected by Callie Corby. And here comes Hopkinton. Corby comes across, feeds the far side as the Hillers will work along the sideline. Caveney back up to Corby. Corby pass behind over to Prawl. Prawl over to Hubner. And now it's Caveney up top back to Corby on the wing. Corby to Caveney. Hillers running out of time on the shot clock. The attempt to get it to Goglin off her hand and out of bounds it goes. Well, the Hillers have been having all kinds of trouble trying to get the ball to Ivy Goglin in the low post. Medway surrounding her with defenders. And that time the pass just a little bit too far out in front of Goglin. And the Mustangs keeping the Hillers in this game because they really just have not been able to take advantage of the turnovers they are getting due to some poor shooting. As Childs drives in from the wing over to Downing, up for three, no good. Off the front of the rim it goes. It's gonna be collected by Riley Childs at almost midcourt. She just stopped it from going over. Pass over to the left of the paint to Murray who drives in and puts up the right-handed lane, but it's no good. The Hillers have it, no harm done there. Once again, another opportunity Medway could not take advantage of. Driving in from the left wing, Hubner now pass back up top over to Corby. And now along the right wing is Prawl. And now into Goglin up for the shot, no good. Here comes Medway, is Nikki Sheehan there to collect. Sheehan pass over to McDowning who will take it up for the Mustangs. Medway working right to left across your radio. Pass over to the wing to Sheehan, nearly stolen away, but Sheehan able to get out in front of it. Now to Beach, into Childs at the right block. Now back to the high post, up for the floater, and no good is Sam Murray. Out of bounds it goes, Hopkinton basketball. Well, it remains 19-19, and we're almost two minutes into this third quarter. So the defensive slugfest continues as Hopkinton working against the press. Up the near side, Prawl, and now over to Corby. Pass over to the left corner, Caveney with an air ball of a three-point attempt. Lauren Beach there to collect for Medway. Riley Childs will take it up for the Mustangs. Childs at midcourt looking in towards the interior. Pass over to the right wing to Sam Murray. Murray pump fakes working against Caveney. Now pass up top over to Sheen who thought about the three. Feeds Riley Childs along the left wing instead. And she'll drive over the short corner and as she went to put up the shot, a foul called. This would be on, I believe, Callie Corby. And that is her first, team first for the half. Medway on the inbound from the baseline. Nikki Sheehan on the entry to Childs up top. Childs drives in, gets it back to Sheehan on the right corner. Sheehan to the top of the perimeter to Downing. Downing now towards the far side. Trying to shake the defender, Marissa Prawl. Back to the right corner to Sam Murray. Murray feeds Childs. Childs along the baseline up with the reverse lay-in. No good. And it's out of bounds off of Medway. Getting the last touch was Lauren Beach. Hillers basketball. 5-16 left to go. 19-19. Both of these teams just struggling from the field offensively. But it is great defensive play. Great low post defense by both teams as well as Caveney will take it up court. Caveney called for a double dribble as she was contested by Sam Murray. And it is going to be Mustangs ball. On the inbound from the near side, Rachel Costello. Downing will take it up for Medway. Downing comes across, Medway working right to left. Top of the perimeter, pass over to Childs, who will launch a deep two, and she hits. This, one, this one's questionable, actually. We'll see what she gets credit for. It is a deep two. She was right on the line along that right wing, and we have a bucket in the third quarter. First one by either team. Now Goglin trying to respond. Up the lane, up with the underhand lane, off the glass, and in she goes. Good response by the Hillers, and we are back tied up. 21-21. 4.30 and counting, left to go in the third quarter. Costello comes across, pass over to Sam Murray along the right wing. 
Murray passed to Downing. Downing driving up the lane. Over to the right block. Feeds Childs on the corner, just able to keep it in bounds. Childs drives over to the right elbow and launches the jumper, and it's good. Riley Childs starting to heat up. That could be dangerous for the Hillers if they don't get their act together offensively. Two field goals in this third quarter for Childs. Marissa Prawl driving up for Hopkinton. Along the right wing, pass to the top of the perimeter to Corby. And now it's to Caveney on the left side. Now back up to Corby. We'll leave it behind for Prawl. Over to Caveney. Now along the left wing is Hubner over the short corner. And they were trying to work it at Goglin, but Medway ready for it. Stolen away by Lauren Beach. As Beach has been all over Goglin, playing very well defensively. Pass to the left of the paint. Up and in. Samantha Murray. And look out. Here comes Medway. 25-21 Mustangs. Hillers working up the far side. It's Marissa Prawl with possession over to Caveney. Driving in from the right wing. And now Hubner. Drives in past two defenders, up and in, good response. Kate Hubner with her first bucket of the game and we will have a timeout. Three minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter. It's Medway 25, Hopkinton 23. You are tuned in to the girls Central Division II sectional final. And all their fans can get together for great food and everyday affordable prices. In the summer. Friendly's, the official family restaurant for the MIA. regularly, they just play a pickup game for themselves. Welcome back into Worcester Polytechnic Institute. We are here in the Harrington Auditorium for the Girls Central Division II sectional finals. Winner of this game advances on to the final four in this state, and it will either be the Hopkinton Lady Hillers or the Medway Lady Mustangs. And we have ourselves a back and forth defensive slugfest here with Hopkinton trailing Medway 25 to 23 off the timeout. The Mustangs on the entry from the baseline. On the defensive side, working right to left across your radio. Tom Nappy here on the call. Craig D'Alessandro back in the New England FatLoss.com studios as Meg Downing takes it across. Over on the far side, over to Childs along the right wing. Childs driving in, back up top to Downing. Thought about the three to the short corner. She goes to Murray. Murray along the baseline, around the defender, up and in. Samantha Murray with her second field goal of the third quarter, and she is the only player in this game that has scored in every quarter. Scored in the first and second. Six points in the first, another two in the second. She's up to 12 now. Hiller is working in the offensive zone. Pass over to Prawl along the far side. She'll step up, launches a three, and rattles out. Rebound Lauren Beach. A 27-23 Medway lead as Beach feeds Downing around the defender off the glass. No good. Beach trying to pull down the rebound. Gets wrapped up with Cave and a jump ball called. It will be Hiller's basketball. On the inbound will be Olivia Gladeau. 231 left to go in this third quarter. Hillers have only put up four points in the quarter. It is going to be very interesting to see what adjustments they will make, especially in that fourth quarter, to try to get this offense rolling. Callie Corby drives in on the short corner, turns it up to Gladeau, and now along the right wing, Prawl. Prawl around two defenders off the glass with the underhand shot, no good, but she drew the foul. And you wonder if the Hillers girls struggling a little bit because they are missing one of their star players in Lily Morningstar. And she really has been a tone setter for this offense throughout the season. First of two for Prawl and she hits. Second free throw now for Marissa Prawl. Got it. Well needed free throws for Hopkinton. Back to a two point Medway lead. Rachel Costello surrounded by defenders on the far side, gets wrapped up with Goglin. jump ball called. And the Hillers fans loving it. It will be Mustangs ball, but good 
Defensive, good aggressive defense there by the Hillers. On the inbound rally, Childs, Childs inbounds along the baseline off the hand of Downing out of bounds it goes. Hopkinton gets the turnover. Another momentum swing in this game. There has been constant momentum shifts towards both sides. Callie Corby on the inbound for the Hillers. Goes to the right wing cave and he thought about the three. Drives in instead. Up with a left-handed shot. No good. And it is collected by Riley Childs. Childs pass up the near side over to Murray. Murray drives in up with the right-handed lay-in. And she hits. Get the ball to Samantha Murray if you're Medway. She is feeling it. That's three field goals in this third quarter. Seven on the game. And she has 14 points to her credit. Callie Corby, top of the perimeter, launches the three, and she swishes it through. Callie Corby now with seven points for the Hillers. Coming up court is McDowning who will come across the middle, and it looks like both offenses starting to pick up some momentum after a slow drag through that second quarter and much of this third. Riley Childs along the right wing, feeds Downing up top. Downing on the pick and roll, takes it over around the right side, pass to Beach, Beach up the lane, up for the shot and in. Lauren Beach does it again. Beach up to six points for Medway and she's a, also been a great low post player throughout the season for the Mustangs. Pass over to Glado, coming in from the left wing now to Goglin. Up the lane, up with the right hand, no good. Goglin grabs her own rebound, puts it back, no good. And then she taps it up twice in the air. Kept in bounds by Corby, but she swiped it out to make Downing. And the Mustangs have it. Good effort in the low post, but Mustangs come away with it. And a pass to Riley Childs. Riley Childs, a wide open lane to the bucket. Off the glass and in with ease. The Mustangs trying to pile it on, now up by five, and now another steal here on an errant pass, Costello drives down, feeds Childs up and in. Uh-oh, you got Riley Childs heating up. You're gonna have to stick a defender on her and not let the Mustangs get these easy turnovers. And Glado pass over to, or excuse me, Glado pass over to the midcourt. It was knocked away and now Caveney is gonna launch a three from the left corner, no good. And that is going to do it for the third quarter. Momentum starting to swing towards Medway, and they lead 35-28 to 28 as we head into the final eight minutes of regulation. You are tuned in to the girls' Central Division II sectional finals. Back to Worcester Polytechnic Institute. We are ready for the final eight minutes of regulation. A 35 to 28 lead for the Mustangs. Tom Nappy here on the call for this girls central division two sectional final as the Hillers inbound to start off the quarter working left to right across your radio. Callie Corby top of the perimeter turns around gives it over to the left side up for three and in is Regan Caveney and they absolutely need her to heat up from beyond the perimeter. She's been trying to hit those shots all night. She's hit two so far but they're, they're gonna need her in this fourth quarter to get something brewing offensively. Now Meg Downing on the right side of the perimeter for Medway, trying to pass towards the baseline to feed Childs and a good pickup defensively by Caveney, who comes up with the turnover. Glado up the far side, pass over to Corby, and now it's Caveney working towards the right wing. Back up top to Corby. 
Corby pump fakes, shakes by the defender over towards the far side, and will turn around, give it back up to Kaveny. Kaveny down the lane, two defenders in front of her up with the right hand, the shot no good, but the foul is called. Well, what do you know, we have another momentum swing this time towards the Hillers. That one is on Samantha Murray, that's her third. Only three players have scored in this game for Medway, but up to this point, that has worked out for him as Kaveny hits the first of two. Riley Childs with 15, Sam Murray with 14, Lauren Beach with six. And Medway just clinging on to a three-point lead as Kaveny misses the second of two free throws. A 35-32 Mustangs lead. Seven minutes and counting left to go in this fourth quarter. As coming up midcourt is Mary Kay Gould, to pass over to the far side of Rachel Costello. And now over to Lauren Beach at the top of the perimeter who has been huge in this game. Samantha Murray along the right wing, now it's Riley Childs. Childs, top of the perimeter, dribbles in, kicks it back over towards Downing. Now to the right corner, up for three, and no good is Samantha Murray. And the Hillers have it, Kaveny there to collect. Up the far side she goes. Kaveny going to drive in to the short corner and will come back out as two defenders get in front of her. Pass over to Glado. Glado driving in. Great feed to Goglin off the glass and in. Ivy Goglin starting to feel it from the low post. Well, this is what happened for the Hillers against Groton Dunstable. Ivy Goglin was pretty quiet all game, but then in the fourth quarter, she really picked it up. So we'll see if that's the case here. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout as well. 6.22 left to go. It is Medway leading Hopkinton, 35 to 34. And there will also be an award ceremony immediately following this game. Thank you. Let's take a look at the Hopkinton Hillers scoring throughout the first three quarters. Olivia Glado with three, Marissa Prawl with four, Regan Kaveny with six, Kate Hubner with two, Ivy Golan with six, and Callie Corby with seven. But in this fourth quarter, Regan Kaveny has added a three and a free throw, so four more points for her. She's now totaling 10 overall. It is a one point Medway lead. As the Hillers off to a nice start in this fourth quarter. It's a 6-0 run to start the fourth quarter for Hopkinton. They had a 9-0 run to start the second. And we'll see if they can grab the momentum and hang on to it. As Liz White trying to feed it up top, stolen away. The Hillers get another turnover. Hubner with some quick hands there. Pass back to Corby now, Glado Now over to the Caveney on the short quarter. Up for the jumper and yes! Regan Caveney feeling it. And here comes Hopkinton. Up court for the Mustangs is Meg Downing. And now over on the right corner, Liz White. Back up to Downing. Turns around, gives it off to Murray. Murray to the left corner to Costello. Along the baseline, up with the underhand shot. No good. Rebound pulled down by Goglin. Goglin a pass to the near side. Working her way up court is Hubner. Over to Caveney, now back to Corby. Corby drives in from the top of the perimeter. Back towards Caveney, she goes at the top of the perimeter. Now it's Glado. Glado along the baseline, trying to pass between two defenders. Bad decision there, Riley Childs comes up with the steal. She was trying to feed Goglin, but Childs was ready for it. Pass over to left wing to Downing, and she's called for the travel. Another costly turnover for Medway. Hopkinton ball, a 36-35 lead now for the Hillers. 5.23 left to go. In regulation. Hiller is on the entry. Kate Hubner on the inbound over to Prawl. Excuse me, Corby rather, as Corby will work up the far side. Callie Corby with a left hand dribble working up the sideline against Costello. Pass over to Caveney along the wing. Caveney drives in around a couple of defenders up with the underhand shot, no good, and it is pulled down by Liz White. Here comes the Mustangs. Riley Childs feeds it down court. Great pass into the paint. Up and in, Sam Murray. 
And that was great vision by Child. She saw Sam Murray wide open, squeaked it through a couple of defenders right to Murray, who was able to bang it off the glass and in. Up court is Callie Corby, pass over to Caveney along the right wing. And now inside of Goglin. Goglin turns around, gives it off to the corner to Corby. And Corby trying to put up a shot. She was blocked. Riley Child's able to get a hand in there. She comes up with a loose ball. Now a long pass. That is going to end up out of bounds towards Sam Murray. She was hoping to hit her again in the low post. But a little bit too much zip on that one. Hopkinton will have it. It is a 37-36 Medway lead. And this game has the makings of a classic. It looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Back and forth all the way through. Hubner on the entry to Prawl. Marissa Prawl takes it across. Now over to the near side of Hubner. Hopkinton working left to right across your radio. Callie Corby pass up to Hubner. Hubner calls it out. Sets up Caveney at the top. And now over to the left side of the perimeter. And driving around a couple of defenders there is Corby. And now pass over to the elbow up and in Ivy Goglin. Well, they need Ivy Goglin to heat up, and she seems like she might be starting to in this fourth quarter. It's her first quarter of the game with multiple field goals. She's up to 10 points overall. Rachel Costello up the near side trying to feed, feed Liz White along the corner. Knocked out of bounds off of Prawl. Medway will have the inbound from the near sideline. Liz White on the entry to the short corner. It's knocked out of bounds off of Goglin on defense. She was looking for Sam Murray. Liz White will do it again. Over to the left wing, Childs up for three, air ball there, but it was a Medway rebound as Sam Murray was there to collect, but we have a foul in the meantime. And this is gonna be against Hopkinton. And that was Ivy Goglin, that's her third foul. She has to be careful. Liz White to the top of the perimeter, driving in Beach. Now over to Childs coming in from the wing. Childs with the turnaround lay-in. It's waved off, but there's a foul. She was able to knock it through. But it's going to... It's going to be a midway inbound, and the foul called on Ivy Goglin. That is her fourth. So Ivy approaching dangerous territory foul-wise. Lauren Beach along the baseline, on the left short corner. Driving along, kicks it up top over to Costello. Costello turns around, gives it back to Childs at the top of the perimeter. Childs works the defender into the paint, up with the underhand shot, out of bounds it goes. But it is ruled in Medway's favor. I guess the hiller along the baseline was Kate Hubner just got the last touch on it. And we are going to have a timeout called by the Medway Mustangs. They're going to talk things over. It is the Hopkinton Hillers leading Medway 38-37. to 327 left to go in regulation. Timeout on the floor. Saturday morning tonight at 7 p.m. The boys Division II Championship between Shepherdville Regional and Marlborough High School. 7 o'clock. Welcome back to Worcester Polytechnic Institute. 327 left to go in regulation. Hopkinton leading Medway 38 to 37. It has been a back and forth game. Just constant momentum swings. And in this fourth quarter, the Hillers have outscored Medway 10 to two. So Hopkinton starting to heat up offensively. Inbound to Riley Childs coming in from the wing. And as she goes up for the shot, we have a foul called. Well, the Hillers may be starting to play a little too physical now. That one is on Callie Corby. That is her second. Medway will have another inbound. Lauren Beach on the entry this time. Top of the perimeter to Murray drives in. Now it's back to Beach who will take it along the baseline. Feeds Childs and as she does called for the travel. 
The beach was right near the hoop. I don't know why she just didn't try to go up with the lane. It's very likely she would have drew a foul. Hopkinton on the entry, and before the inbound, we'll have a foul. As the Hiller falls to the ground, Rachel Costello got tied up with Callie Corby. This one's going to be on Hopkinton. That'll be on Marissa Prawl. That's her first. Liz White on the entry, the top of the perimeter to Beach. Beach pump fakes, drives down the right side of the paint, up for the shot. It's no good, but the foul called. Well, Medway starting to be more aggressive, working into the low post. That one called on Prawl, that's her second. This puts Medway at the line for a pair. Lauren Beach with six points so far. Let's see if she can make it seven. She does. And we are tied at 38. 314 left. Well, Hopkinton and Medway on both the girls' and boys' side has, have played some very classic games. And this one seems to be no exception as Lauren Beach hits the second free throw as well. It is now a one-point Mustangs lead as the Hillers work against the press. Marissa Prawl takes it up court past the near side of Corby. Now Kate Hubner towards the top of the perimeter, back to Corby. Corby leaves it behind for Prawl. Now Caveney up top over the left side of Hubner. Now back to Caveney up for three, yes! Couldn't have come at a better time. Regan Caveney lighting up the scoreboard in this fourth quarter. She's put up nine points in the quarter, 15 overall. The Hillers back with the lead, 41-39. Timeout called, 2.51 left to go in regulation. Welcome back to Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Tom Nappy here on the call. Craig Alessandro back in our New England at FatLoss.com studios as we bring you coverage of the girls' Central Division II sectional championship between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medway Mustangs. It is Hopkinton leading Medway 41 to 39. 251 left to go. Off the timeout. Who will advance? We will not know until the last second. At least that's how this game has gone. Constant momentum shifts, and right now, momentum swinging towards the Hillers. Meg Downing on the inbound, pass down the sideline to Lauren Beach, and jumping up, ripping it out of the air is Kate Hubner. And then it was knocked out of bounds off a Mustang. The Hillers will have the inbound along the near side. Hopkinton working left to right across your radio. They'll have the entry from midcourt. Kate Hubner on the inbound, over to Callie Corby. Corby with a left-hand dribble, takes it to the top of the perimeter, turns around, gives it back to Hubner. Now Corby once again, trying to set things up on the interior, now over to Hubner. Hubner to the Caveney, back over to the left side of the perimeter of the Hillers work, and now a three from the corner, yes! A well-needed three for the Hopkinton Hillers there. And that was Marissa Prawl knocking it down. Some number changes for the Hillers, creating a little confusion here today. But Laura Beach along the baseline, and as she goes up with the reverse layup, it's no good out of bounds. Hillers basketball. A 44-39 lead for Hopkinton. And now, really, all they have to do is just try to burn some clock. And if they come out with another couple field goals before Medway can get on the board again, this game may very well be over. As Hubner up the near sideline, ended up dribbling out of bounds as she was contested. Mustangs basketball. Rachel Costello on the inbound from the near side. Over to Downing, she goes. Downing across the middle. Meg Downing, top of the perimeter. 
Kicks it over to Riley Childs driving in from the wing. She turns around trying to give it back to Murray in the paint and it ended up getting away from Murray and then wrapped up by a couple of players on both teams as getting tangled up was Rachel Costello and Ivy Goglin. And we end up having a foul called as well on Sam Murray, a little too physical trying to get to the basketball. And that is going to be her fourth. Hiller's on the inbound. On the entry up the near side goes Prawl. It's knocked out of bounds as she try to get it over to Gogolin. Hillers will do it once again. Kate Hubner on the inbound. Over to Callie Corby. Corby up to Prawl. Prawl to Caveney driving along the baseline into the short corner surrounded by defenders. Kicks it to the top of the perimeter. Wide open three here and it's no good off the front of the rim on the Callie Corby attempt. Medway has it. Collected along the far side by Costello as she takes it across. Costello towards the left wing being watched by Hubner and as she tries to feed it to the wing we get a moving violation. Hiller's ball. Kate Hubner on the inbound for Hopkinton. 125 left to go. And Hubner is taking a little long to inbound, so a smart timeout call there by Coach Greco. Well, it all comes down to this. The Mustangs need a turnover. Trailing by five with 125 left to go. It's the Hopkinton Hillers 44, the Medway Mustangs 39. Back to Worcester Polytechnic Institute. 125 left to go. The Hopkinton Hillers have had themselves a great fourth quarter, and they have outscored the Medway Mustangs 16 to 4, and now lead it 44 to 39. Hillers have the ball off the timeout on the entry from the baseline. Now pass up to Callie Corby, and now it is. Back over to Hubner, will take it up the far side. Hubner trying to feed it up the sideline, knocked out of bounds by a defender as it went towards Prawl. But actually, no, they call it out off of Prawl, Medway basketball. Riley Childs on the inbound. That is what Medway needed. They absolutely needed that turnover, and now they need to hit a field goal. Costello down towards the right wing. Looks at the top of the perimeter now to Sam Murray. Murray feeds the short corner along the baseline is Beach. Now over to the left corner and just keeping it in bounds was Meg Downing as Medway works around the perimeter now. Childs in the paint. Childs wide open court in front of her up with the left hand. No good, but Beach able to get to the loose ball on the right short corner. And she falls out of bounds, but just before she does, a very smart timeout call by Medway head coach Joe Iannone. And that was certainly a turnover saver there. 52 Point four seconds left to go. Hopkinton 44, Medway 39. We'll see what the Mustangs draw up for this possession. <laughs> Medway Mustang set to inbound off the timeout. They will have it at the baseline on a well needed turnover, which keeps their hopes alive. It'll be Riley Childs on the inbound for the Mustangs. 
Childs will break up the three-man stack. Over to the right corner she goes to Sam Murray. Now up to the wing to Beach. Beach back to Childs. Childs top of the perimeter around the defender. Will stop, pop, drop the shot. It's no good. A Hiller's rebound as Hubner pulls it down. And we have a foul called. That one is on Sam Murray. That's her fifth. Hiller's on the inbound. And of course, Medway going to be pressing here, trying to get that turnover. On the entry, over to Prawl, and here comes the Hillers. Hubner is back over to the far side to Corby. And Corby trying to waste some time off the clock, and she will be chased down by Riley Childs for the foul. And foul called on Costello. That is her fourth. Hillers inbound from the far sideline. Kate Hubner on the entry over to Ivy Goglin. Goglin able to get by the defender into the paint to Caveney. Caveney pump fakes, trying to put up the shot. It was knocked back into her possession. And then as she tries for the putback, she'll draw the foul. No, it's going to be an offensive foul on Goglin. I don't know if I agree with that one. Midway on the inbound, and they'll work down the near side. Riley Childs with possession. Stops at the left wing over to Beach on the short corner. Up past the defender. The shot no good, but the foul's called. Unfortunately for Medway, they're going to get her with the charge. It's going to be on Beach. Hiller's ball. 17 seconds left to go. Things looking very good for Hopkinton, and now Medway forced to intentionally foul Caveney, but before they could do that, we get a timeout called by the Hopkinton Hillers. 13.9 seconds left to go. Well, this game certainly wasn't a pretty one for the Hopkinton girls, but they came alive in this fourth quarter as they've pretty much done all postseason long. It's been slow goings throughout much of these playoff games for the first three quarters, and then in the fourth quarter, the Hillers come alive, and that's exactly what they do here at WPI tonight as they outscore Medway so far in this fourth quarter by a whopping 16 to four. Pretty unbelievable stuff. The Hillers low post defense was just sensational. Regan Cave, Caveney and Ivy Goglin just dominant at getting turnovers for the Hopkinton Hillers in this quarter. And of course Caveney came alive offensively, put up nine points in the quarter, 15 overall. And we'll take you through the Scoring totals, well, we have a chance on this timeout. Riley Childs with 15 for Medway, scoreless in this fourth quarter. Sam Murray with 16, Lauren Beach with eight. For the Hillers, it's Regan Caveney with 15, Kate Hubner with two, Ivy Goblin with 10, Callie Corby with seven, Marissa Prawl with seven, and Olivia Gladeau with three. 13.9 seconds left to go off the timeout. In 13.9 seconds, we'll know who is advancing on to the Division II Final Four and who the central champion will be. Hillers had their hearts broken in this round last season against Medfield, but now a chance to win it. Into Ivy Goglin along the near side, who immediately will draw contact from Riley Childs. Only .7 taken off the clock. That's the second foul on Childs. Goglin to the line. One and one for Goglin here as Hopkinton has entered bonus territory. On the front end, she hits. It's now 11 points for Ivy, who has been huge in this fourth quarter. It's about the third time in a row that Ivy. Had a slow start the first three quarters, but came up monstrous in the final eight minutes as she hits the second free throw. Ten seconds left. Medway going to try to shoot quick here. Over to Beach. Driving in, into the paint, up for the shot. No good. It's swatted back to Caveney, and she'll hold on to it, and that'll do it. The Hopkinton Lady Hillers are advancing on to the Division II Final Four as they come away with the 46-39 to 39 victory over the Medway Mustangs. 
They outscore them in the fourth quarter, 18 to four. We'll take a quick timeout, come back, wrap this game up. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A guy. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al Gal and we love HM. Hey, I love to be. Uh, camp. We love H Camp and I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV and I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Woo! Welcome back to Worcester Polytechnic Institute as we wrap up this Central Girls Division II sectional final. The Hopkinton Aylers coming away with a 46 to 39 win over the Medway Mustangs. It wasn't always pretty at times, but in the end, they got the job done. It was a defensive slugfest throughout the first three quarters. Medway outscored Hopkinton in the first 14 to 10. In the second, it was nine to five Hopkinton to send it into the halftime locker room, tied at 19. Then in the third quarter, Medway outscores Hopkinton 16 to nine. Then in the fourth, the Hillers offense really came alive outscoring the Mustangs 18 to four to take the 46 to 39 victory and move on to the final four. Let's take a look at the scoring totals. We'll start off with the Medway Mustangs. Riley Childs with 15, Sam Murray with 16, Lauren Beach with eight for the Hopkinton Lady Hillers. It was Olivia Glideau with three, Marissa Prawl with seven, Regan Caveney with 15, she's your player of the game. Cade Hubner with two, Ivy Goglin with 12, Callie Corby with seven. Regan Caveney came up huge in the fourth quarter as the Hillers right now being presented the Central Sectional Champion Trophy. Certainly well deserved. What a team these Hillers have become. Just improving more and more as the season has gone on. But Regan Caveney came up huge in that fourth quarter as she was able to knock down nine points and come up with numerous huge rebounds for the Hopkinton Hillers. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Lady Hillers take care of the Medway Mustangs, 46 to 39. The Hillers moving on to the final four, and we'll certainly keep you up to date via our social media pages and the MyFM website as to where we will be coming up for the semifinals and the finals. I'm Tom Nappy. I thank you for joining me here at Worcester Polytechnic Institute as the Hillers defeat the Medway Mustangs. <laughs>